What's going on YouTube? Dave here from SignalWarren.com. So tonight I'm going to talk about uh, more Active, Direc Active Directory stuff. Uh, and kind of the same scenario I went through a couple weeks ago where if you're a new administrator in your organization or you're taking over for somebody and you really don't have any idea exactly what's going on in the Active Directory infrastructure, you can th use this script to uh, find out which OUs in the Active Directory structure are not protected from accidental deletion. Uh, maybe a trivial thing for some, but you know it only takes a right click and delete or somebody hitting the delete key to really cause problems. Now there are other ways you can get around that with the recycle bin and all that, but uh, anyway. So we're going to use the get ad object commandlet. Uh, we're only going to grab a couple properties. Uh, the canonical name, not sure if I pronounced that right. And for protect from accidental deletion and we only want to grab the objects where protect from accidental deletion is equal to false so it is not protected from accidental deletion we also want to only grab organizational units so you could also use this for groups and all that and then down here we're going to select canonical name and accidental deletion and here outgrid view so we'll run this see what we got so this is what it tells us. So in the root of my domain, the domain controllers OU is not protected from accidental deletion. So that's probably significant. You probably want to enable it for that OU. Uh, in my world, I enable it for everything. So it's just a kind of personal preference thing. So some would think that maybe uh, that selecting all the, the properties up here and selecting the object down here is a redundant process. I will tell you it is not. So we can do this a couple different ways and we can uh, use the measure command commandlet to uh, give us a visual of what the difference is. So this is the the first the way I have it above. And you can see it gives us uh, the milliseconds it took to run that command and then, you know, some other information. I'm really only interested in milliseconds. So up here we're going to take off the uh, property filters and we're just going to get all properties. So if we run that one, and you can see, let's scroll this up here, the time to run these two uh, commandlets is vastly different. The top one 128 milliseconds, the bottom one there 727 milliseconds. Now you might be saying to yourself it's milliseconds, you know, who really cares? In a large organization with hundreds of OUs and hundreds of users and a really extensive Active Directory infrastructure, you know, those milliseconds may add up to something significant. So measure command is one way you can kind of test your code see how long it's going to take to run versus other methods okay so down here at the bottom of my script we're going to kind of put it all together uh, we're going to search similar to the way we did up at the top of the script but this time we're going to add a search base so we're further paring down how much of active directory we're searching at a time so i'm only going to search within this underscore groups OU in my Active Directory. And I'm searching for the same thing. An OU that is not protected from accidental deletion. So I have, this is my underscore group. I have a couple here. OU1 and OU2, you can see they're not protected from accidental deletion. So we'll just take those results pipe it to the set ad object commandlet and we're going to set this protect from accidental deletion to true. So pretty simple. And let's make sure this thing ran okay. Yep, so now it's protected. So there you go. So a couple of ways you can do this, depending on how large your Active Directory infrastructure is. Uh, you may want to pare it down to search only specific within specific OUs in your, your Active Directory just to make things go a little quicker and not um, overtax your servers. Uh, 
as always I'll have this code on signalwar.com so you can uh, take it and use it customize it however you want to do it and uh, I appreciate you watching